Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you everything I made for my upcoming market and sharing my prices with you. As a little disclaimer, these are my prices set based on how I price. If you don't like them, that is fine. And I'm not saying that if you're selling these same patterns, you should be pricing this way because these are based on how fast I crochet and the specific pricing formula I subscribe to. Um, yeah, so it's, if you disagree, that's totally fine. And if you like price different, that's totally fine too. I've talked about how I priced and I can link a video right here. But basically I price first based on time, second kind of based on material because we all know that the plush yarn tends to be more expensive than like regular worsted weight. And I also price by size, meaning if I've made the same thing in worsted weight yarn and it's this big, and then I make it in Bernat Blanket and it's this big, even though they took the same amount of time, I believe they should be priced differently. It just makes sense to me. So, yes. And I'm gonna start this video with everything I've crocheted since my last market. And you can see my last market video right here. Um, yeah. I guess I'll put the, like, everything I crocheted for my last market and then you guys can kind of, like, watch through that if you've not seen that. And I will be starting with things I've made since that market. So in theory, technically, if you've watched this one, you've seen pretty much everything from that last market, except for the things that sold that last time. So you still might want to watch it for that reason. But just for efficiency, even though it's technically bad, if you guys only watch the beginning and then like click away, um, I'm just going to show you the new stuff first. And there is not a ton of new stuff. It has been like a month because that market, those markets were September 9th and 10th, either 9th and 10th or 10th and 11th. I could look it up, but I'm not going to. And right now it's October 12th. So it's going to be like a little more than a month when this new market happens. But I didn't get to crochet that much. I've been working on my Etsy and like all the things. So I guess to get started, uh, if you don't know me and you're new here, which is very possible because I seem to be picking up new subscribers pretty hot again. Uh, my name is Jackie Chaplin. I am the owner of a crochet business called Works of Whimsy Crochet. I sell my crochet on Etsy and I also sell patterns on Etsy and now felt eyes on Etsy. And I also do in-person markets. So I share like a lot of my experience at markets and share my personal tips but it's just always impor important to note that I'm not an expert. I don't proclaim to be any sort of expert. I just know what works for me. And I do feel like it's kind of helpful to get everybody's like perspective. And then you can like form your own system based off of that. So yes, take what I say with like a grain of salt, but know that I'm only telling you because it's like worked for me and it might be useful information to you. But in addition to like my Etsy endeavors and my like in-person crochet business stuff, I also am like a freelance writer as like my day job and I'm a stay-at-home mom. So some of that content gets covered too. But anyway, we'll get into the video now because I've chatted way too much. And we'll start with this penguin. It's a jumbo penguin, I'm calling it. I will have like my master list of patterns linked down below. I think that's going to be easier to just have that master list and then like add to it when I need to then to like make a new pattern list for every single video uh, because I use a lot of the same patterns over and over again the same old penguin pattern that I've always used but in jumbo yarn so like weight seven yarn um and a 10 millimeter hook so it came out like pretty big almost volleyball big not quite but yeah and then I used felt eyes I did not make these particular eyes, but I like them. They're pretty cute. And yeah, so this penguin is 25. Then we'll move on to pop mushrooms. So if you had watched the last video, you'll know that I had sold out of the pop mushrooms that I brought. And if I didn't say this market weekend is entirely at Beasley Farms. Normally Beasley Farms is a once a month market which I sometimes go to, but not always. And if I do go to, sometimes I only go to one of the days, which is what I did last month. But on that like market weekend last month, even though it was at two different places, I sold out of the three pot mushrooms I brought. So I'm bringing more this time. 
and like a different variety of like different pop crochet patterns. And if you're not familiar with the pop crochet patterns, I'm pretty sure, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the Etsy shop cable and canvas kind of like, I don't want to say invented because that sounds like odd, but like started the whole pop craze um, because they have like a ton of different pop patterns, pop mushrooms, pop acorns, characters that pop, you know. So I have a lot of different pop things because they sold out last time, the different varieties I had. And I think the people like the fact that they're like cute, but also kind of like a fidget toy. So yeah, I made six of this particular variety, two in this color, this mauve color, and this, if you could tell, is the Bernat Sparkle Yarn. And then I made two in this color, which is also Sparkle Yarn. And then I made two in this hot pink color, and once again, Sparkle Yarn. And then the bottom, I think, is just like vanilla. It's whatever that like off-white white is. And all of these are 13 each. So, like I said, I made six of those. And let me just move them. I ended up putting like another table here. I have a desk right here, straight down. Uh, and then a cart right over here, right next to the desk. And then I keep some stuff on the floor. And I obviously keep some stuff on the grid wall. Um, not the grid wall, the, uh, the cube shelf wall. But now I have like a table right here too. Because like I, I just have too much stuff. And I need places to put it. But yeah, I got those six. I'll put the penguin in that box too. I also made this elephant. I'm doing this elephant for 22. I only made one of him. And this is why it's like important to talk to your customers. Because last market, I had more than one customer each day uh, ask me if I had any elephants. And for whatever reason, that's always been like a gap in my like, products. I don't really do elephants. So I made this one. But this also took more time than I like would have liked. And I don't like how it was made because the legs, like, I don't know. You make the legs, you attach them together, which was weird in itself how it happened. And then it like goes up and closes here. Then you attach the tail. Then the head is separate and like the ears are separate. So I don't know. It was just like a lot. And it's not my favorite, but it's also still really cute and I like it. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see if this one sells, basically, if I continue to make this pattern. It's not the only elephant pattern that I bought, but I did want to you know, fulfill the need. I made one of my witch hats and one of my pumpkins. These are my personal patterns. They're available in a pattern pack. So if you make them in worsted weight yarn like this, they're like a great keychain size. And I attached these like plastic keychains, which I think are really cute. And I'll have these linked in a Google Doc too, because I now have like all of the stuff I've ever brought, bought for my crochet business linked in a Google Doc. So if you guys ever like want to know what something is or want something for yourself, it's there. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you make the patterns in worsted weight yarn, they're keychain size. And if you make them in like plush yarn, they're like a nice like hand handheld size. Um, so yeah, my crochet patterns are also linked down below. So you could get the pattern pack with that or they're sold individually too. And I am also going to finally have tutorials for those two going up on my channel at some point. They might already be up. So if they are up, I'll like link them. I'll do like the witch hat here and then like the pumpkin pattern here. I'm not going to discount the pattern pack just because there's two variations for the witch hat. And there's two variations for the pumpkin. So it's already kind of at its discounted price because I do all my patterns for like two bucks. And since there's seven patterns in that pattern pack, it should have been 14. All right. Yeah, it should have been 14. But because I planned on giving these away, I just already had it set to 10. I made those so I could do the tutorial um, and then like sell them. So. I also made this guy. This guy's my own pattern too. Uh, I do already have a tutorial for him up on YouTube. So if for whatever reason you're like me and prefer paper patterns, this is also for sale on my Etsy too. Um, and I just added a keychain to him, even though the keychain instructions are not uh, originally a part of the whole pattern making process there or the whole uh, mushroom making process. I just decided to add a keychain just because. 
Oh, did I say the prices on those? Those two are eight, and this one is, I guess I've decided 11, which I guess makes sense because I'm selling that mushroom on its own without the keychain already for 11. So I'm giving the thing away, the keychain part away, I guess. And yeah, this one and the witch hour are eight. Having a business, it's a lot. We're getting through with though. Okay. And we'll talk about pot mushrooms again. So this is the Itty Bitty Flower Pot Pattern by Cable and Canvas. But I made it in the jumbo yarn that's the size 7 yarn weight. I don't know what it is in other countries. But here it's the biggest one you can get. Uh, and then I use a 10 millimeter hook. So this is a pot mushroom. I made four of these. One in this little peachy color. One in this pink color. One in this blue color and fun in this what's the color like lavendery color and they all do the whole pop situation i will say this stem is called green ash but good luck finding this yarn now you might want to this was all like sweet snuggles from michael's but you might want to just do it in um the like parfait chunky xl because i literally could not find any more of this yarn which was almost a problem because I like had made a frog that had like one more body part it needed before it was finished and ran out of yarn and was able to find it, but like an hour and a half away. Two skeins, that's it. And it was not for sale online anywhere. So yeah, it would turn into a whole big thing. But yes, I made four of these and these are 20 bucks. And these are, are why I think things of different sizes should be priced different because the only real difference between these two patterns is like the stem and the flower petal part but they like would be the same size if i use the same yarn basically but because i use jumbo yarn it's bigger so this is 20 and this is only 13. i did a possum restock because i sold two possums last time which left me with one left so i at least wanted to get back up to that three but these are the possums by crochet by jenna if you're interested they work up pretty quick Ooh, also, sneak preview. Oh, those are 15. This is my gingerbread pattern that is unreleased yet, but is going to be in a Christmas pattern pack. I had the thought of doing like a four pattern pack, but it might be two to three patterns instead because I'm running out of time and I just got to get it up. But yeah, this one I still need to test, but it's super cute, isn't it? And I am selling him for 35 And yeah, let me know what you think of him. And ignore this little color change. This is baby sand. Or no, this one's baby sand and this is regular sand from Bernat Blanket. And apparently there is a slight color change, but I just happen to like need to switch at the right time. So it doesn't look too bad, but it still kind of gives me anxiety that that's there. But that's my gingerbread, 35 and I'm saving the best for last. We got this mermaid. I forget the shop that has these mermaids, but it's cute, right? And I think, okay, I'm doing this one for 22. My last market, I had a mermaid for 25, but she had like long cascading curls, which we all know curls are a nightmare and take way too long. So her like little space buns were super easy. So she's just mostly priced based on size because I didn't have like all those curls to do. And then I gave her felt eyes. Again, these are not my felt eyes because what had happened was is I bought everybody's felt eyes on Etsy um, and then decided I should learn how to make those myself. One, it'll save me money. Two, I could then sell them. So yeah, I am getting into it now, but they're super cute. I like them. And they match her top. Oh, and her top is glittery. So that's why I went for a glittery eye. And then I have this little frog, again, with the felt eyes. Not mine, but they're super cute. Are those mine? No, because I, I made a version like this, but I did glitter because I got glitter vinyl. But this is all from Jade in a jumbo yarn again. This is the green ash color. This is why I ended up running out for the big project I was doing. Because the little stems didn't take much, but this obviously takes like a little more than the little stems. Oh, if I didn't say, this guy is 18. So I did this big frog. 
and I got literally, and you could see it in one of my videos, I forget which, I got literally to this eye, everything else done, and I did not have enough yarn to do the last eye. So his whole body was done, except for this freaking eye, and I made poor Zach go an hour and a half away to get me the last few skeins in Tampa of this yarn so I could finish this. Um, and now I'm just going to like hoard it because I'm afraid to use it and it like never be in stock again. But the frog itself is a pattern by Madeline Mayco on Etsy. And then I did felt eyes. I might have made these. I can't remember if I made these or if I bought these. But they're pretty nice, right? And then I wanted him to be a strawberry frog for whatever reason. So I just crocheted him up a little strawberry and then like sewed it on. So the original pattern doesn't have this strawberry, but like I think it's a nice touch. That's kind of why his arms lay a little funky because he's not meant to be holding things. But I think in the original pattern, his arms were like too long. And I feel like it would have made more sense if they went to like here and not all the way up to here. But he looks better holding something, I think. And then I gave him a little smile. So her pattern might have had a smile. I don't remember. But yeah. So this frog right here is 50, I think. Like I said, this is the Sweet Snuggles Green Ash. But this is Parfait Chunky held double. Because that's what I do with Parfait Chunky now. I just hold the double because it comes out bigger. But So that's going to be it for this part. And then I'll go through everything that I brought to my last market that didn't sell. So now we're getting into the stuff that I brought to my last market that didn't sell. Um, some of this was like new to that last market. So it's not like stuff that's been sitting around. But you know, you get the gist. And I have Janessa helping me now hand me stuff. Because I keep this stuff in a box in the other room. So let's start. Starting with one of my jumbo plushies. We have this bad boy for $75. He is 19 inches long. And now he's available for sale on my Etsy if you want him. I'm going to put it over here for now. It'll make it easier. Oh, I have scrunchies. I'm going to leave these out. Because I bought these little handmade with love tags. That I'm going to put on these scrunchies. I think it's going to help it look more profish. Um, so I don't remember if I linked those, but I can in that big Google Doc of like everything I bought because those were a recent acquisition. Oops, I knocked over a water bottle. Then we have this also jumbo thing. Uh, this is a teacup gnome. This is his like little tea saucer and then his little teacup. He doesn't have eyes, so sometimes I get people that ask me what he is, but I like him, so I'm not offended if he doesn't sell, because this was more an attention getter piece, because he is 100 bucks, because this was, like, kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. This is what's left of my mystery bags. Last market, I had two ten dollars two twenty dollars and two twenty five dollars and I sold out of every one but this one. So I want to set this one aside, because I want to throw together a couple of mystery bags. But I haven't yet. But since these were such a good seller, I really think I need to do that again. And we'll see if I hit like all the price points. Maybe if I don't have that much stuff, I'll make like a couple of $10 bags and like four or five $10 bags and just like have that. But I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to set this aside too. What's next? What's next? The official mascot of my business here, this little flower sprite. This is also a cable and canvas pattern. She is 25. I'm like running out of room. This is a snow seal. It is 20 bucks. Vanessa actually made this one. So if this sells, she gets the money for that. This is a jumbo ghost, obviously. And it is 35. This is almost my unreleased cow pattern. This was more of a modification from another pattern. So this like helped form the base of my own which is, like I said, still unreleased, but one day I'll get there. This guy is 35. I've got these two squids. These squids are, again, 25. I got this chicken. It's 15. This is Craftsco Bloom, I think is the name. This is Chip the Chick. We have this is another one of my deluxe plushies. It is also 50. I figured these guys were, let me get them about the same size so they'd be like the same price 
and I have like a top shelf because I use grid walls now. So I'm going to put like my big stuff up top because I sell primarily to kids at markets, even though that's not my clientele online. Um, so I definitely don't mind kids coming up and touching this stuff, but a lot of the stuff they touch inevitably gets like dropped in the dirt and then needs dusted off. So I try to keep my like expensive stuff up high because like, you know, if this stuff gets wrecked, it's going to hurt me a little more than like if a $10, $15 thing gets wrecked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. This is my unreleased ghost pattern. Unfortunately, this guy will probably end up being released after Halloween because I'm slow. So he'll be there for like next year. But he is 25. Should I give me the third one too if you can find him? He's a light blue. Is that him over there under that diner? I've got these three hippos. I was so surprised these didn't sell. This was the first event I brought them to. And they did get some attention, but not as much as I feel like they should. Look how cute that is. But why don't you like that? But these guys are 15 also. And if I didn't say this chicken is 15. I have a little container of mini fruits. All my mini fruits are nine bucks. So there's an orange, these two strawberries, and I think there's two blueberries left. I did sell I did give away at my last market one of these strawberries. I don't think I ended up saying it in that video, but it was a little girl's second birthday, so I let her pick something and I gave it to her. This is the last of my mini turtles. I did not have it in my soul to make anymore. This guy's 20 bucks. Turtles are not my favorite thing. This is another one of my mushrooms. There are three of these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I've got one in pink, one in red, and then one in this like nice fall orangey color. Like I said, this tutorial is like on my channel already. And these mini mushrooms are 11 and I'm doing the keychain for 11 also. I got the well-loved Chunky Boy Mushroom. These are 15 each. I think I have two of them. This is my witch hat, but in plush yarn. This guy is 10 bucks. He's just a by himself. If he doesn't sell this weekend by himself, you know, as is, I think I'm going to like add him to this and then just try to sell this. And I'll do like, I don't know, I'll probably just keep it 25 because I'm not trying to like hold on to Halloween stuff. I always like to see first if something sells before I discount it. And I usually like to see for like a full season because I'm never trying to give anything away. I charge family to crochet. I won't even lie. They do sometimes get a discounted rate, but to be perfectly honest, you guys are more likely to get a higher discount than my family sometimes because like I ain't trying to give away stuff for free. And this one is the other Chunky Boy Mushroom. It's 15. I forgot I only had two of these because one sold last time. Maybe I'll try to whip another one up today. I don't know. We'll see. This is the aforementioned Pop Acorn. This Pop Acorn is 11 bucks. So, yep. This bottom part is, what is it? Brunette Blanket. And this top part is Parfait Chunky. So if you try to like it and you're wondering why, like, its proportions don't look the same. It's because I use two different yarns that are definitely not equal weights, even though they have the same weight. This is one of those mini fruits for $9. This bad boy with its felt eyes is my dinosaur pattern. This pattern is available in my shop. You can get this pattern as is, or you could buy it in pattern pack with like a T-Rex, not a T-Rex. That's this one with a Triceratops style dinosaur. Um, this one is so big, though, because I did hold the uh, Bernat Blanket Double, but it's $30. And yeah, I like how this one came out. I'm running out of room, and I'm going to spill soda. This is another one of the mini fruits, and this is another one of the mini fruits, the pineapple. I think I need to put them on keychains is what I think the issue is. Keychains, and then maybe add faces. Okay, all the chickens. Here are some more chickens. So this is Chip the Chick again. This is Mabel the chicken, I think is the name of the pattern. I've got a couple of these. I did sell, I think, one of these at my last market. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was two. I should know. I was there. Oh, I didn't say. Those are all $15 chickens. And then this is the same pattern as this. And once again, this is why I think size matters. Because like I said, they take the same amount of time. They're the same pattern. I'd argue that this one was even faster because I just added these eyes after the fact. But this guy is 25 because it's big. And I think I need to add combs to these because 
I just don't think they scream chicken as much as these ones. And it could be this one's shape, but I think it's also the fact that it has a comb. So these are headbands, uh, like ear warmer headbands. I make these on an Addy knitting machine. Uh, I did not sell any on my last market, so I don't know that I'm going to continue to carry these. I have sold them before, uh, so they're definitely not like a total dud, but I just live in Florida, so these aren't like necessarily ideal for Florida. I sent some up with my mom to Missouri because she was doing a market up there, uh, and she sold some things on like my behalf, and she sold some of these, so I'm letting her keep the rest of the stock that I sent of these, and then she's sending me what didn't sell. <laughs> um at her market back because it's like Halloween themed so I'm gonna like bring it to my next market but yeah I think she might end up with the rest of these too just for like the market she's doing after the fact also because I don't know these were a good idea and concept but Florida is never cold enough yeah I have this little coffee mug keychain this is the angry coffee tutorial on YouTube and I just put it on a keychain. I sold one of these last market too. But this coffee mug is 14 And I sold one last market. And then I have this little candy corn. This is my candy corn pattern. Um, there's like a variation that has a bow. And I call her Candace corn. Uh, but yeah. This is $14 also. And on a keychain also. I've got four of these Octos. One in this teal color, one in this camo green color, one in what I call this color mermaid, but it's a burnout blanket color combination. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like mermaid colors to me. And then one in this pink purple kind of camo color. Uh, these are all the same pattern, crochet by Jenna, her octopus pattern, except I took out a couple of rounds because it was already like getting bigger. And I like wanted it to be, but these are 15. They still work up quick. I was just trying to make them quicker and I didn't need that tall of an octopus. The sad unsold possum from last time. The possums, if you don't remember, are 15. These are specifically my dino patterns. So we have a T Rex style, even though someone pointed out T Rex don't have like the spikes down their back. So that's hysterical. Uh, but I'm still calling it like T Rex style because that's what it is, in my opinion. And then I've got this Triceratops style, which obviously isn't a Triceratops because it's got more spikes around its face. But I just wanted to have like a Chunky Boy. So this is the Chunky Boy Triceratops. And these come separately as patterns or together in a pattern pack, whatever you're into. Both those dinos were 20. And then the rest fall into my small dino category. And they're all 15. So I got this, which is a Ribbler pattern. It's 15. I've got two of these versions of this what's it called crochet club triceratops which also i'd like to point out is still not a triceratops because it's got more than three spikes uh yeah and then this one is apparently sweet softies pattern and when i make these they like fall forward so when i like worked on my pattern i like made it bigger and like chunkier on the belly so it stood up more um and then I know the spikes look similar, but when I made this pattern, I changed the spikes, which is like the same style of spike that's on mine. Same on this one. I changed how the spikes were because I think these spikes look better when they're straight. They're nice, good, pointy, triangular stripes. They're spikes, not stripes. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so all of these dinosaurs were 15 because they're the small dinosaurs. I broke my dinosaurs up by like size category, so I didn't have like triceratops and t-rex and my t-rex and my triceratops because that had just been confusing then we have our penguin category these are all the same penguin pattern just like different hook size so i think these ones were like a 6.5 millimeter hook and these are like the traditional color schemes and then these ones i think were done with either a 7 or an 8 millimeter hook so they're a little bit bigger but these are the same pattern as this guy so there's like a clear size difference so once again another example of why I price differently by size because they took the same amount of time but that size way bigger they're cute um, I also had a green one last market but my green one sold 
which is weird because it was kind of green camo to me. And I feel like this one's the cutest. But then again, I like pink. But the top is glittery and then the bottom is like that frosting yarn. Uh, and these smaller penguins are 15 and the big one's 25. And that's the same with my chickens. I have like my smaller chickens are 15 and then the big chicken I did is 25. This is my pumpkin pattern, but scaled down. So these are $6 pumpkins. I've got like a little tray of them. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five of these. I'll give you that one back. And these are the pumpkin pattern you'll find in the pumpkin pattern pack or the uh, Halloween pattern pack or as like individual patterns. Um, so I did not include the scaled down version, but I'll basically tell you how to do it without like giving away the like pattern instructions. Or I guess you guys are going to find out anyway. But there is like three increased rounds on this. I only do one increased round on those. And then I do of the same amount of stitches in the rounds on these and again only one on that one so that's how I like scaled it down but these bigger ones are $12 uh, I sold a good bit of these last time most of them have the cinnamon stick stem this one has just the crochet stem and like I said these are 12 they work up quicker than they look I feel like I'm gonna just put that there this is my candy corn with the pink bow so this is Candace corn she is 20 bucks. I'm gonna put that there. This is Frank as a keychain for 14. This is Frank as a plushie for 20. These, like I said, are my patterns in the Halloween pattern pack. I really like this Frankenstein, how it came out. And then I seen somebody, I think like right after, release like a mini version that's like almost identical to this one, but is mini. And I've been seeing that like all over Instagram. So cute and little. I like big plushies, so I made mine big. Not crochet, but because I crochet, I had bought these like little pom-poms to make hats. And then once again, I realized I live in Florida. So like a knit hat or a crochet hat is probably not going to sell super well here because it's hot. So I've been utilizing these as keychains and I sell these keychains for 10 bucks. Last market, I think I sold one of these. Might have been more, but I think it was one. So I'm going to keep bringing these because I think they're cute. And yeah. Yippers. Oh, this is another dinosaur. This is like the original version of the spikes for the Sweet Softies pattern. And they're like almost bobble stitches. So they like flip over on themselves. And they're just not very spiky. So I didn't like them as much. That's why when I redid the pattern, I decided to change it. But he like still falls over. I have a little bin of baby sharks. I do these baby sharks for 12 bucks. I think I've got like seven of them, but I've got like two gray ones and then one each in like the baby shark color. So there's a yellow one, a blue one, this pink one, and I think an orange one. I have these wristlet keychains. These are 10 bucks also. So just a little put on your wrist keychain. These are my fidget keychains. They are marble mazes. So like the marble, obviously you can't see it, but you might be able to see me like pushing it. This one is like a circle track. I've got a second circle track. I've got a third circle track. We'll leave them in here. I've got this one. It's kind of like a zigzag track. The bigger version of this had like back and forth and then back and forth again. So you just push it around and over. And then... For those who want a one-handed fidget, you've got just this little like, you can push it to the end and flip and push it to the end and flip. So, and then I have them on like corresponding colored keychains. So the pink one got pink and the green one got green and so on. Those are $8. These are the rest of the baby sharks that were 12 bucks. I don't think I sold a baby shark last time. They usually do pretty good, but you know, some things are hits and misses depending on like, the people at the market more wristlet keychains a witch hat keychain so another one of these so i'll probably put one of these in my mystery bags if i decide to do like whip together some mystery bags super simple pattern eight dollars is almost overcharging for this because it like works up so quick it didn't look like it in the tutorial but that's because i had not a lot of sleep because my kids woke up in the middle of the night so i was crocheting slow but 
those take less than 10 minutes when I like am on a roll, you know? These are my Weeby Aliens and Astronaut. Sorry, he had one of my hairs on him. That'll happen. Sometimes you gotta like, you know, fix your crochet. Meg makes crochet. Is that the people person? Uh, she writes the Weeby Alien pattern. I know you guys have seen this one, but there is also, I think this is Ollie the astronaut, maybe something like that. But this is the little like astronaut version of the same pattern. Um, so they work up the same amount of time. So these are all 15 bucks. And I usually, well, I don't usually because I don't always have these, but last time I staged these together because it's aliens and astronauts. Super cute. This is my Freddy Krueger. I think I'm going to put him in a mystery bag. So I have him tagged for 20 because if I was able to sell him, sell him like that, he would have been 20. So I think that's what I'm doing with him this time because, yeah. But someone told me to just like not say he's like Freddy Krueger and sell him anyway because, I mean, he's not super freddy E, but I just try not to get in trouble with like the whole trademark stuff. But I, I do think he would go good in like my $20 or $25, I mean, mystery bag. Because, you know, he's fun. He brings me joy. I think that's what I'm going to do. I set him aside. These I call ice creams. They're $12. This is KDB and Creative's mushroom pattern that I just added a rim to. And now I call them ice creams. I've got a variety of colors. See if I could tip it. Ice cream down. We're going to need to like clean up all the plushies on the floor. But yeah, there's like a slew of those. There's probably like 10 in there. This is a hummingbird. Oh, it's little, little beak is bent. Uh, it's 25. This is Teresa's crochet shop or something like that. Um, I want to make this again because I thought a light pink would be cute, but I think it just blends too much. I think a contrast between like an actual like hot pink or even a red was supposed to be would be better, but it's still pretty cute. I like him. He's stuffed like super firm though. Goodness. I've got a slew of these Octos in this plush yarn. These are $9 each. And this is an all from Jade pattern. And I also, I don't have them here. Well, I kind of have them here. In, I'm um, running out of room. In worsted weight yarn held a double. They come out this big. In plush yarn, they come out this big. I sell the like worsted weight version for five bucks and I sell the plush version for nine because the yarn costs more and it's bigger. So I think I've hammered that point into your guys' heads well enough that you get it. But that's why it's such like a misconception to like go just based, in my opinion, to go just based on time and material cost because like, per gram worsted weight yarn at least the one I use is like three cents of gram and like the plush yarn is like six cents a gram so like generally speaking it's really not that much more um like if this only takes 50 cents of yarn to make this might take a dollar worth of yarn to make that but that doesn't necessarily mean the entire price should be double even though per gram this is like double you know what I'm saying um but yeah this size it is double the size so I did double the price almost these little keychain versions are actually eight dollars because I'm accounting for the fact that they have a keychain and yeah but all from jade at least eight in the all from jade plush sweet softies octopus 13 sweet softie is not in plush yarn 11 I've got a couple of these whale keychain 12 dollars all from jade medium mini octo seven dollars Got a couple of them. Another KDB and Creative mushroom ice cream thing. My mini bee pattern. I'll link the tutorial right here. It's selling this for six. I've got all from Jade. What are these? Jellyfish. This is also eight because it works up quick. I got a couple of the like octopus keychain versions. I got this dumpling. This is Emmy Creations on YouTube. Her name's Chloe. This is 25 bucks. But it comes with like a steamer pot. That's why it's 25 bucks. Steamer pot not pictured. More of the plush ones. These are the $9 version. This is the $7 version. This is another jellyfish keychain. This is an $11 octopus sweet softies. These are the actual like mini ones that weren't on the like keychain. 
So with the yarn held double, this is how big they are. And these are the $5 version. And I've got like a little bin full. Then I have a couple in this $7 size. So there is like five or six in the $7 size. And then we have leggy frogs. I've only got apparently one big leggy frog left. And then I've got four baby leggy frogs. I've got this uh, carrot. Oh, wait, how much were the leggy frogs? The big ones are 12 and the little ones are 10. Uh, this carrot is 25. This is not monsters. This is Instagram chubby axolotl. I don't remember the person that did it, but this is another version of like size makes it cost more because they're the same pattern, but I used a different hook size, so now one's bigger. I've got this laying down axolotl is also 20. This was a an Etsy pattern, I'm pretty sure. Then I have two whales. I thought these were knit grit whales. But now I'm not so sure. I think one or maybe both might be Katie being creative as well. I don't know. I can't recall. They look different, but also the same. I'm not really sure. But I got two whales and both these whales are 15. Then I've got this cow. This cow is 35. And I've got this angry egg left. Last market I had a chicken nugget and a happy egg. And both of those sold. So now I just have this like lonely angry egg. And he is 10 bucks. Because I only have one, I might put him in my mystery bag also. That's kind of what I did when I built my mystery bags. I just kind of, A, looked for like some cheap stuff as like filler that's super quick to make. Those all from Jade mini mushrooms. I can make those in like less than 20 minutes. So that's like a nice filler item. Um, especially if I do them in the plush version because that's a $9 item in and of itself, but works up super fast. But yeah, I just looked for like kind of one-off products that I didn't want to make again. So I didn't have to worry about fitting them into my display. So they just kind of went into the bag. You feel me? So yeah. Oh, I also have this turtle. I think this is Tessa the tortoise. This little piece here is because it had a price sticker on it and my kids were playing with it for the last week or two. I'm gonna cut that off real quick. So I need to reprice him, her, it, and it's gonna be 35, that's what it was. And I had a sea turtle version of this that sold last time for also 35. So if you're ever worried about felt eyes and how they hold up, this was played with by a toddler for like literally like a week or two straight and like totally intact still not an issue um the other one was also played with this was 45 i believe um and it's got these felt eyes and the eye itself is a little bit like crinkled up which you can't hardly even see this whole head was just mis misshapen a second ago and the eyes are like totally fine and intact though i do think i'm gonna add more glue because this particular part's not glued down. So I like to try to get my glue all the way to the edges and stick them down so you don't have that like little ability for them to crease. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that is everything. I think. And I don't think I'm gonna crochet anymore unless, like I said, it is for the mystery bags. I do have a couple of one-off items I can put in the mystery bags. So I might, do a couple, but I can't tell you what's in that $20 bag because I don't remember. I did cover it in like the video. I think I already linked it, so I won't be able to link it again of showing you everything I made for my last market. I told you what was in them, but they were already packed, so you couldn't see what was in them. But yeah, the patterns will either be in a master list or on their own list linked below. The products, if you want like any of the products I use, the tags or anything, Again, in a master list linked below. So I just wanted to pop back on here real quick and show you guys my mystery bag. I was able to crochet a couple of things to put together some mystery bags. So I'm going to have the same amount as last time. Two $10 bags, two $20 bags, and two $25 bags. So this one is still sealed from last time. This is the leftover $20 bag. But I was able to kind of, you could see where I ripped it just a little bit pull one of the tags through so I could figure out which bag this actually is. This has a $15 duck, a $12 ice cream, that's the Katie being creative, 
mushroom that I converted into an ice cream. And then a $9 mini whale made with worsted weight. So that is this one. And then we will start over with the $10 bags that I put together. So we'll start with my first $10 bag. It will have a mini whale, a witch hat, and then one of my mini pumpkins that is based on my own pumpkin pattern. So the retail price for this bag is actually 20 and I am going to sell it for 10. I charge $9 for these whales, $5 for the non keychain version of this hat, and then the mini pumpkins I do for six because they like whip up super fast. The next $10 bag, I tried to do all the bags a little bit differently so none, neither were like identical in case someone comes up and wants to buy two bags just so like not everybody has the exact same thing. So the next bag is going to have another $9 mini whale, a $6 mini frog. This is a Katie Bean Creative Frog. And actually this is Katie Bean Creative Whale. Um, then another mini pumpkin that is in my van. The retail price for that bag is $21. And now we're moving into our $20 bags. So I told you this one. This is the duck, the ice cream, and a worsted weight whale again. The other $20 bag is going to have yet again a mini whale because I just made a few of these last night to like put them in my bags. A plush octo. This is all from Jade. And I'm going to take my pop acorn that's a cable and canvas pattern and put it in the bag since I only have one of those. Uh, that's kind of how I put together my bags a little bit. I just look for like one off items that I had wanted to make that are they don't necessarily fit super smooth into this, the display because they are like one off items. So I'm just going to use that. I was charging $11 for the Pop Acorn because they're super simple. And then, like I said, these are both $9 items. So the retail price of this bag is $29, and it is a $20 bag. Uh, okay, and now we're moving into our $25 bags. This is a little, like, harder because I don't have all the things. But the penguins that I make, I have two regular penguins that have, like, the regular color scheme. And then a blue penguin and a pink penguin. So I'm just going to take like the regular like, black and white penguin uh, since I have two and put it in the bag. So that's a $15 penguin. I'm going to take the plush version of this guy, which is a $15. Oh, he had a fuzzy, which is a $15 product. And also put that in a bag. And then I am going to put this Freddy Krueger in the bag. And I decided if I were to have sold him, which I guess I kind of am selling him. But I feel like it's less trademark violation-y because while I'm accounting for his value, people aren't necessarily buying it because I'm selling trademark things. They don't know he's like in there. So that's like my workaround. Uh, but I've decided he would be a $20 item. I actually think he took a little longer than that, but we're going to call him 20 and say this is a $50 bag for the price of 25 And then the next $25 bag, it's going to be an all from Jade. I'm calling it a jumbo frog, but it's actually like baseball size. That's her like mini frog pattern. That I am going to charge 18 for, or was going to. I have another plush version of the same whale. So whales are apparently just my thing this time. Like I said, those are going to be 15. And then I made another one of these mini octos for nine. Retail price 42. I'm selling it for 25. So, fingers crossed, I basically sell out of them again because I think it's a good way to, like, make one-off items that I also don't have to worry about, like, displaying. And I still, I feel like even though I'm kind of undercharging for them because of, the, like, the nature of the bag, I feel like it's an easier sell. So, like, you know, those whales I've been holding on to several markets and now if somebody buys the bag, they're just gone and I don't have to worry about them. And I don't know, makes me feel better because I don't like hanging on to stuff too long because one, I get tired of looking at it. And two, it makes me feel like the best way to get rid of it at that point is to make more because, you know, the only thing like cuter than one whale is a bunch of whales. And then like there's, they like tend to sell better when you have groups of things. So when something's not selling, my first instinct is to figure out the best way to get rid of it and you know, 
without making more. <laughs> if you guys have ever been to like markets and seen other people's crochet stuff, they tend to make only like a handful of different things. Uh, but then they have like 10, 15 of them and they're all grouped together and it looks really nice. But that's just like not my vibe. But I also feel like that's kind of part of the reason some people do a little better than me because I don't know. It just seems to sell better, better that way. But I really don't have the mental capacity to like make a bunch of like leggy frogs and a bunch of like chunky boy mushrooms. So I do think today, because I realized I only have the one big leggy frog, I do think today I'm going to make at least two more of those. So I just, so I've got them to sell, you know, you know. Anywho, if you like more crochet content, uh, you can check out this video right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. And the next one will probably be the recap of this weekend. And yeah, hopefully it went well.